or act like however you're confused. Is it going? Yes, it, yeah. Yes, yeah, it's going. All right, y'all. Welcome back. This is uh it's been a long, long time coming. But if I'm gonna start off by saying if y'all haven't tapped in already, even though we have not been recording, um we have been dropping content every week this summer. So please go tap in on the page. We'll drop the link below. Plenty of content. Um, just stuff that we've been doing throughout the summer, our different trips and just just different stuff we've been getting into. Um, so go tap in. Uh, but this is the first one back that we kicking off for the um for the new school year. So it's gonna be a good one. We're gonna tap in, do a uh check in and go from there. So what's up? Man, what's up? What's up, man? <laughs> hey man, quick hey, look, quiz in the building, you know. <laughs> you know, man. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Welcome back. Uh it's Aaron. I'm glad to see y'all again. <laughs> A new school year on the way. I know I start school this week, so what's up? Yeah, I start classes this week too, man. We all wrapping up. Yeah, it's about that time. So, um, shoot, whatever I've had going on this summer, it's been a lot going on. It's been a whole lot going on. A lot, <laughs> a lot going on. Just okay, just share a highlight then, just to get the people, because like I said, we do have a lot of content um of just what we've been doing throughout the summer so we can always catch up on that but just to highlight you know what i'm saying saying as we go into the semester like what's been a highlight this summer for y'all i'm gonna let you go there okay well i guess i'll start off uh, uh when my shirt says uh cgb where we went to the um look at the consolidated grain barge company in louisiana um, uh, uh, we looked at we toured their facilities. Um, the actual like railroad and actual bar systems that they um load and unload and uh, import and export grains uh domestically and internationally. That was cool. And the other day we actually got to sit with people who work as merchandisers and also uh trade uh tr as uh, traders uh, commodities traders and just uh picking their brain through a whole uh, time with two three days. So, but it, it was it was a great experience. I think that was the highlight of my summer as far as I haven't really went anywhere besides that this summer. Um, but yeah, that was probably the biggest thing I didn't did this summer. Big boy for big boy for me was uh that that internship at UGA, uh, intern um this summer um at the University of Georgia, um within the College of Agriculture um and Environmental Sciences and the Food and um food sciences and um, technology department. So that was cool. Uh, got a lot of hands-on experience, learned a lot, got to present um, my research at the um, end of uh, my internship. So between that and classes, this is all I had really, really going on this. I'm for real, for real, knocked out them classes. So look, look, looking forward to the last year. Yeah. And for me, um, I would say same thing. I enjoyed the, the, going down to Louisiana to visit CBG, CGB, excuse me. But I think another highlight for me was my family reunion this summer. Not just because I got to spend time with my family though, but this was the biggest one that we've had. We had four families that were um, part of the reunion. And five of my, you know, five of my cousins uh, really coordinated. So we had about three 300 people show up. And the reason why it was a highlight for me is because it was people that came down, you know, to the country that ain't never been to the farm. You know what I'm saying? Since, you know, I mean, decades and decades of people that just have not visited the farm. So to have people from Detroit, from New York, um, from, you know, just from, from the North period that hadn't been Ohio, that hadn't been down to the farm uh, maybe one time when they was a kid and not in their 60s and 70s. You know what I'm saying? So for them to come down and be able to fish and be able to, you know, we did the hay ride. And for people just to see what the farm looks like and see the farm being worked, you know, and things being done on it's a beautiful property was a highlight for me to be a part of that process of even coordinating that. And um, so that that would that would that was a highlight for me this summer was my folks coming down. Well, uh, well, I, well I, I guess it it's not ad, but I'm glad you brought that up. I think I'm just I'm just now getting back. Uh, from a friend reunion so pretty much the same thing it was probably 
is the, my most favorite family out know, in bitch so so far. Um, my people they put together very nicely. Probably it was, it was largest one I I have attended on this side of the family. Uh, very hot, <laughs> very hot, <laughs> very very hot. But it was a lot of good times, especially a lot of, since being in school. Uh, I I didn't miss out on a lot of people growing up and seeing them now as adults, and now we reconnecting. Um, because we're starting to take over that. Well, we'll be taking over the torch, you know what I'm saying? One one day soon. So, trying to build that bond with me, my family. Um, uh, it, it was a great experience for me. That's yeah. all. That is. Um, yeah. I did want to kind of talk about sowing seeds. <laughs> this on um, this, you know what I'm saying, for the time that we do have. And honestly, too, I, I thought about that. One ser service this morning was about um sowing seeds, but the other part of it too is a lot of stuff that happened. This I know for me was a lot of stuff that um transpired happened because I sowed some seeds. You know what I'm saying? And it may have not come at the time that I really wanted it to, but it came, you know what I'm saying, at the time that it was supposed to. And so um, I know one one that we was holding off on was this fellowship that we had applied to myself and Aaron, and we end up getting accepted into the fellowship. But that's something we had talked about the beginning of last year, you know, last school year. Um, and Aaron, you know, he brought it to me. It's like, shoot, I went to this conference. They got this Jedi, um, you know, fellowship. And we had talked about it, talked about it, talked about it. And really, uh, you know, exchange information and really worked on what what that what that could be. And so I just wanted to open it up, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to talk about the value of being able to sow them seeds and not rush what that process looks like as the seeds are growing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that that's 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 where my head is going into the semester, really talking about what it means to sow them seeds. Yeah, I I can feel that. I can feel that. I can I can understand. Uh, you to... What you say, Aaron? No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm getting after you. I said, man, everything, everything, everything that I experienced this summer, I can honestly say was from sowing seeds. Like every everything that I experienced. Um, I left out one part. Uh, man, as we had uh, as a national officer, we had a summer business meeting up in D.C. So we were up in D.C. for the week. Um, going to the USDA, going to NASDA, different um, different things, Farm Bureau and stuff like that, meeting with different people and networking with different people and talking to people about uh, what what we have going on in the manners and how um, pretty much they're trying to expand and what they what they see to come for manners. But um, the, I want to experience that, the internship, um, my good grades if it hadn't been for like sowing seeds prior to this summer. Like a lot of the, a lot of the stuff that I experienced this summer was from stuff that I had already put in the work, but then I was getting a chance to reap the harvest, you know what I'm saying, of putting in that work. So really, really looking forward to this last year at, at state, <laughs> looking forward to the last year at state, um, pretty much rounding off um, everything. And I'm looking forward to a lot of things this, this year, uh, with it being the last year and just being able to, you know, reap the benefits of the, of those uh, seeds that I sold for real, for real. It's, it's been a, it's been a journey, but it's been it's been one hell of an experience. Um, I guess I'll uh, jump in because I was thinking about as far as like what, what, what Vicky, you said was as far as the conversations we had once we found out about the fellowship, even though it, it, it was almost like uh, almost like the application process of applying for school almost, you know, not not as strenuous, but it was still a lengthy process and talk and actually speaking into existence, uh, applying. Uh, meeting different people who have been able to help us along the way. And now we're going to um, to an orientation um, um, very soon. So I think that's very, very, I think that, that was, that was, that was probably one thing that stuck to me as far as like we saw uh, sowing seeds. And I think on the uh, academic side, um, I was able to read some comments uh, for my research that I'm working on now uh, that I didn't get to check this weekend, but I checked before we got on um, the Zoom. And I was saying like, dang, I, I'm thinking one way as far as like how to build the research up, but um, I'm getting help from my major professor. Like, hey, think about it like this, and how would you build on from each step? I'm like, 
I'm like, man, that's not really what I wanted to do. But now I'm starting to open up my mind and say, okay, cool. If I'm able to do this, where could this land me now if I'm, you know what I'm saying, each day, putting in the time, each week, putting in the time, where could this land me a, a year from now when we do defend um, our research um, at the end of next year? So I just, you know what I'm saying, one of, one of my favorite prayers is take me past my first imagination. And I don't think that comes into play unless you start sowing seeds as far as personal or professional goals uh, for yourself. Mm -hmm. And something too that kind of popped up too was understanding that don't not allowing your the the um what I'm trying to say not allowing the the fear or the worry to choke out the seeds that you're trying to grow. Like it made me think about weeds. You know what I'm saying and. As, as much as you try to, as much as you worry, you know what I'm saying? It's like weeds. It just continues to grow and grow and grow and it chokes your plants out. Um, and so I guess my question to y'all would be, what is something that kind of keeps you grounded? Aaron, you just spoke on it a little bit, but if you can expound a little bit more in Quest 2 about ways that you go about not allowing the worry to take over because it's easy to do that in the space that we in, especially if you think about, as a producer, you know what I'm saying? Um, and you think about crops, you think about, you know, the assets that you have, anything could happen. You know what I'm saying? You can have a field fire, you can have, you know, disease outbreak. And so not allowing that fear and that worry to take over um, in that process, because it is all a process. You know what I'm saying? It may not look at it look the way that we want it to look in that time and in that time span but at the end of the day it's all happening for a reason so I say that to say what ways do you all kind of keep yourselves grounded in understanding that okay this is a process I done sold the seed now I gotta be faithful in what it is that is happening right now not worrying about what could or what could it pers uh, transpire um, that, was, that was that was loaded. That was loaded, but um <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah, I pee, but yeah, but with me, I think with me, I work best when I have um I set hard deadlines or uh create hard deadlines for myself, whatever it may be. And also uh getting this very I'm very routine and once my routine is broken, I have to get back right because I was like, okay, I gotta keep on putting the time putting in this time for this, whatever, whatever may be working out, uh, eating right, uh, doing my school where I think that putting that, uh, putting that time in and developing that routine is one thing big, but at the same time, it's like that small, for me, that small piece of anxiety is, is always going to be there because it's, it's the unknown. And I believe that we are, are human. So it's certain things I do not know. Like, like even with, with this, when we started this up, it was like, man, we, we don't, we don't know everything about this stuff we don't you know what i'm saying we we, <laughs> we really you know what I'm saying figuring it out along the way as far as like what it means to um create a business um operate a business um and and now uh going into the next phase as far as like a real uh brick and border fiscal operation it's like man it's, it's a lot of things we're gonna have to learn and it's and sometimes it is it, it is scary but i just had a feeling in my gut and especially like this weekend just right as farms and just being out uh seeing the different lakes and seeing people fish things like that I'm like man it's just something in my gut saying like if i just keep on trusting in god it, it, it's going it, it's going to happen but i still have to do my part in all this as far as my school work uh develop myself as a better man it's a lot it's a lot that goes into it so but yeah it's it's it's, it's not easy but there's, there's this small level of fear. I don't want to even want to call it fear, but just the unknown is it, always there. But I think that's where you got to get grounded in, in that faith. I think meditation has been a great thing in my life. And like um, like our boy Mike, uh, getting that uh, personal development in uh, each and every day. And not even just one time, but like sometimes you might have to just break away and, and, and get, get that time to yourself. Like I know me, like, okay, I got to break away. Give me a give me a prayer and might got put me put me a sermon up on YouTube. So and things like that. And, and it doesn't even have to be long for me. 
Uh, but throughout the day, just even just saying the name, the name is so powerful. The one who created all, I think that's one who alleviates a lot of that. Uh, that that I guess what what you use anxiety. Um, uh, for me. Straight up, keeping God first, number one. Keeping God first, number one, and and. and... I know um, this summer has been been very, very uh, challenging for me. So just digging in that bag and like really, really saying, okay, is this what you really want? Like, like, like taking that time to meditate on what you pray for and what, what you, what you're giving and being a good steward of what you're giving is, uh, is big, but, but not only that, I hate people saying this, but like, People always say like you gotta you gotta you gotta enjoy the process and you gotta endure the process. I hate people say I hate to hear that, but that's real though. That's real though. That's real. <laughs> you really gotta take the time to really really enjoy the process, learn everything you can from the process, and really really endure and go through it because man, sometimes we 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 take time away from the process, looking at what's next or looking at what you done did wrong or looking at what you could be doing right instead of actually doing what you need to be doing at that moment. So so just keeping that main thing, the main thing is staying focused in, in, in that moment and really, really enduring and, and, and experiencing that moment has been a big thing, um, a big thing that I had to really, really overcome this summer. Um, and it's really, really kept me grounded in sowing those seeds like, and that's the part, man. Without no seed, without no ground, you can't grow. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so we just really gotta stay, you know what I'm saying, keep our foot in the mud and just stay focused and, and keep keep moving forward. Cause man, you 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 lose you'll lose track of where you what you're trying to grow and where you're trying to grow it, looking at the the lake or the crop over here or the cow in the other yeah. pasture, you know what I'm saying? Just actually focus on what you got going going on at that time and trust me, that that plan of grow. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I like what both y'all said. Um, bringing it back to handling your business, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's stepping aside, doing what you need to do for yourself, getting in your bag, you know what I'm saying? Like taking the time to yourself, because that's kind of where it all starts, you know what I'm saying? Like Quiz said, not being in somebody else's business, somebody else's grass, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Looking to see what's going on over there, but really tapping into yourself. You know what I'm saying? To make sure that you you hold it in the road and doing what you need to do for yourself and whatever that you, you know, set your set set out to do. You know what I'm saying? It really starts at home with yourself. So I appreciate that. Um I y'all got any other thoughts before we wrap up? I really just wanted to be able to tap in. Um we we we're gonna have a lot coming to y'all this this semester. Uh, I know Quest, he got some traveling with manners going on and other things, you know what I'm saying? As he wraps up his program, myself, Aaron, we all got different things going on. So it's a lot that we got coming to y'all uh, this semester, kicking off the fall semester. Um, but did y'all have anything else to add? Focus on what you got going on. Yeah. <laughs> Focus on what you got going on. Focus on what you got going on. I mean, that's the biggest thing, especially now. You can have so many different, I don't even want to call them distractions, but just so many different other outlets will try to take you away from what you can set your goal as. Because I think intention is the clearest thing you can have for yourself. Mm. Um, wherever you're trying to go to, whatever goal you're trying to attain, but setting that intention and make sure it's pure. And, and nothing really can stop you after that, after you put the work in. I know, like how you said, quiz, I know it may sound cliche, but you know, we all say to, to each each other all the time to whom much is given, much is required, or much is expected. So I think just setting your intention, you, you'll you'll be fine. But putting in that work that goes along with it, you you'll definitely be fine. But with us, is we all all three of us are going to our last year of a program that we started years ago, but seeing how we've grown as people and as men and women, I think it, it should be a testament of tools for like going into the unknown we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into but now if you would just sit back and just take the time to yourself you're like man i'm I'm more than thankful straight up, yeah, was, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I got i got i got a message <laughs> the fold-up chairs was made for okay, sit <laughs> wait you said what I said, I said the fold-up chairs okay. was made for sitting. 
They was not for hitting people. That what you saying? Sit in it. <laughs> sit in it. Yes. Sit in yes. it. Come on, sit in it. Sit in it. Them folks selling out yeah. the fold up chair. <laughs> they stealing the chairs from the church house. The Joe's baby Man, sit, sit in it. <laughs> you funny. Man, I, but yeah, but yeah, it, 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 I, I do agree with that, quiz. You know what I'm saying? Because if you sit long enough and be patient, it's coming. Yeah, straight yeah. up. Straight up. <laughs> I like how you tied that it's, in. <laughs> Straight up, straight up, straight up. It's, it's, it's definitely coming. Yeah, but... Um, but I appreciate y'all. Uh... Huh? <laughs> no, I wasn't saying that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just feeling so good because we, we haven't uh, did a physical face-to-face with this in a minute. So hopefully you all that's been following the campaign uh, continue to uh, roll with us. Uh, like we said, there's a lot of good content that's still being put up every week. So you can actually see us in real time doing some of the things that we've been talking about. Yeah, for sure. So y'all tap in. This is the first one to kick off for the semester. We just want to tap in with y'all. Uh, but that's it. We out. Straight Peace. up. <laughs> <laughs>